Don't even. I swear to God, just. I think. I, no. Wait, wait, wait. I, I can't. I, have, no. I can y'all hear me? Anything okay. to say? Okay, cool. Can y'all right? hear me? Because we were good last I'm, week. I'm here supporting the movement. Okay, now you want to fucking support shit. This nigga got PTSD. Welcome everybody man. to <laughs> another edition of episode ten. I can't hear myself. Of the. What happened? I, can you hear me? Huh? I can't hear myself. Like, hello. All right. Are you good now? We good? Yeah. The nigga here. Okay, yeah. my bad. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to another edition of episode ten. We are in the. Double digits of the really cool pod, really cool gents podcast. Woo. Almost teenagers. Almost teenagers. Ten. <laughs> we we uh we we bro. We are moving. We are live. We are getting there. Big facts. Thank you, gents nation. Yes, gents oh, yeah, nation. Definitely. Yeah, man, and the ladies too, obviously. Because you know what I'm saying. Cause, you know when we say gents, we also mean y'all too. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I know we they got, part like, of the nation. Yeah, no, yeah. they are gents nation. Definitely, man. Um, we got full house today. Uh, Trey's here, Dramatics here, Jordan's here, R- Ricky Ricardo's here, Anthony's here, the whole fucking gang is here. VCB Network, stand up, gang, gang, gang. Um, how are you guys? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. Better than last week. Yes. Yes. Always be better than the week before. Whew, okay. One. Listen. One over zero, bro. <laughs> one over zero. That's li- you know what? That's like my life. That is literally like my life, like mantra. Mm. Like one over zero. If I can, no matter what I'm going through, no matter who's fucking pissing me off, work-wise, relationship-wise, friendship-wise, whatever, you know what I'm saying, dealing with people, um, I try to always just have that like glass-has-full type of mentality. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, if I'm able to like at least, you know, graduate or at least get better at least one like one is always fucking better than zero bro like like always. like hard like hard body not nah, definitely definitely that's a good way to look at it but that's how champions are made it's, it's just like incremental wins like games are won in inches not feet yeah true yeah yeah definitely 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 trey man how are you i'm feeling fantastic doing well doing it's good it's good to be here with the gents had, 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 enough, had, had enough pizza uh, I'm not, I'm not, the jury's still out on that one. I might, I might order another one. <laughs> Need to order yeah, a box go, for him We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna go yeah. down below here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Tell See, them, a, that's why you're tell nigga shit, man. That's what? crazy. That's why you're tell nigga shit. It, it throw it right back here. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just gonna put me out on the Yeah, speaking of women, like, what we say, we say that women always, like, whatever information, um, that we give them, they'll just throw it back us to the face. But who, who's actually the more loyal of the group? Is it men or women to men? Who's more loyal? Like bros or hoes? Yes, bros oh, or hoes. Okay, that's yeah. what I was wondering. <laughs> uh, poof, that's a good trade, one. Trade, 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 trade's on some shit today. That's boy. a good one. I mean, when you've been mm. burned by both sides, it's hard to tell. Well, first of all, a nigga has never burned me. That's the <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it like that, man. God, me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whose fucking man is this, dog? Are you like, kidding me? We I'm just not, had a discussion I'm, about I'm not, ki- I'm not kidding. What? So you've never like been like, re- like I've never got burnt by a nigga, never in my life. I don't think so. Like I mean, as far as like a friendship goes, you never had oh, a friend backstab that's what you. You mean you know? You know what the fuck I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, I've so. been backstabbed by men and women, so <laughs> I'm kind of jaded. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this is about to be one of these pods tonight, dog. Be one of these. It pods. is. It is late. We oh, fucking man. we're about an hour and a half fucking late, but fuck it, we here. Yeah, it's almost um, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, my bad about that, guys. We kind of had a little um, technical difficulties. Um, what I would say, I would say, who's more loyal of the group, though? Hmm. I don't know, man. Who's more loyal to the soul, to the soil, to the soil? Mm. That's a. I don't know, man. It, it, it's tough. It's tough. I, we potted today, boy. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I'm. I, we here. Fuck it. We're right here. Fuck everything that's on the docket today. How about that? How about it? Have at it. Come on. No, seriously. <laughs> right, so let's, about it, have let's have the it. let's have the conversation. All right. So I feel like. <clears throat> If you find that right one, a female might 
might take the the trophy for that one. Mm-hmm. Now, when you say who's loyal, you mean your homeboys or your girl, your partner? That's what you're saying? Or do you mean, like, who's more loyal in a relationship, a man or a woman? Or, or do you talk about both? Let's do both. How about that? Let's, okay. have, some, let's have some fun. Now, when okay, it comes to let's, relationships. Let's, let's, let's indulge in the first one you just said. All right. When it comes to relationships between mm-hmm. a man and a woman, mm-hmm. it's dead equal. Personally, I feel like. And this is based off experience. All people okay. saying, I've heard, you know, tons of women say the man cheated on them. Heard tons of men say the woman cheated on them. But then when it comes to, f- like, between your boys and your girl, I feel like your boys are more loyal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because your boys is on the same shit. Y'all be thick as thieves. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, then, and, you know, if you grew up with them, you've been through certain shit, they can't help but be loyal. You feel me? But when I say thick as thieves, I mean, like, you know... <clears throat> We all in we all in bed together. Pause. So it's like if I put you out, I'm also putting myself out at the same time. So it's mm-hmm. like, is that is that really loyalty or is that um, is that something else? What else could it be? I mean, they might not be loyal to you. They might just be loyal to the game. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, I mean, that's I mean, you you find you find that out though because. I don't know. I, I feel like situations kind of like, you know, show the loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be a high intensity situation or something as simple as, you know, a rumor or something. But, like, you know, but, but, but here's the thing, though. Your loyal your loyalty to your dude and like your your, your mans mm-hmm. can actually like potentially like inhibit or like fuck up like something that's actually really, really good. Like in the future. Like just because like back in the day, like maybe like. 10 maybe like in, in, in the FIU days like I had this situation once where I really like liked this girl and then I found out that one of my men smashed and then when I found out I immediately put that girl in the like the whole category yes for the homies for the homies for the guys. homies yes yeah. but then now looking back and I was like damn like if I didn't do that like I probably would be with her maybe, maybe. Maybe with kids, probably. I don't know. Wow, you probably would have married the dude, the the chick that your dude's man. I ain't married no dude, nigga. <laughs> well, I will hope not. <laughs> I don't know what. Yo, oh, we are. How much? We are twenty minutes in. <laughs> we we haven't even started. We have, haven't even started yet. <laughs> no, but no, but for real, like this whole like bros over hoes type of thing can be great, I guess, in the beginning when you're younger. Mm-hmm. But then when you look back at it when you're older now, it's like, man, that shit is stupid as fuck. But if you th- the, if you really think about it though, no, I mean the the reason it exists because most of the times you know your boys before you met your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance, or whatever. So it's kind of on some you know me longer. You know you're supposed to be loyal. You're supposed to be you know we've been through this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because at the end of the day, like the girl that you're trying to be with, or whatever, is going to be the girl you're going to try to be with for the rest of your life, mm-hmm. which doesn't even compute to anything else when like you're going to be with her. Ver- like. Like, 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 do you understand what I'm saying? No, like, no I, do. Like, I do. Like, like, but then. But you got to factor in the, the, the truth, which is that 99% of your relationships are going to fail. So why would, why would you boys, why would you treat this one like she's the 1% like every mm-hmm. single time? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's. And why a, would your boys yeah, treat her like that? Yeah. But then you. Tell them. Like. Tell them God block. Like how many relationships. <laughs> have, how yeah. many relationships have they outlasted? It, oh, that's a good point. Wait, how many relationships have they outlasted? Yeah, like how many girlfriends have they seen come and go? Yeah, that's hmm. a good point. Hmm. So I, I don't think the I don't think the bros over hoes thing was like, um, I don't think it was inappropriate for a certain stage in life. But where we at right now, I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't follow that same code because shit's different now. But what makes you, it different? You got a lot more skin in the game, bro. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like y'all got investments like bros, and yeah, and like bros, families and like it's cool, yeah. Man. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that, if you have aspirations yeah. and like goals and like you know achievements that you actually want to like have, plus you got all this dirt on you and stuff, like <laughs> yeah, no facts. No, no. Honestly, like not to be morbid, but some girls will have enough dirt on you where it's either like the only option is to you know be with them. Be with him or kill him. That's it. <laughs> you either stay with him or you kill him. That's what, what, what did Jordan say? What did Jordan say? <laughs> oh, now, oh, now, oh, now, now it's now it's, now it's hands up in the air, right? Wait, what is Jordan? No, no, no. I want him to fucking say it. Huh? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> like what? 
Huh? 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 Cat, cat got your tongue, nigga? You got that don't make me do it face. Yeah? After the fifth. Okay, now oh. you're doing the fifth. You're getting smart now. That's funny. That's Hell funny. no. All right. Um, okay, let's get into it. Um, number one. Shout out to episode 10. Really, Absolutely. Really, really fucking happy about that. Proud of every single one of y'all we that's in this room right now. Um, potting, like I said, we talked about, I think it was last week or maybe the week before. Um, extremely difficult. So to be able to have that milestone, like like I said, one over zero at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. proud of you guys. Love you guys for that. Um, okay. Uh, I want to give my condolences and um, just wanted to just give highlight to um, the horrific actions and the, the events, I should say, um, of Haiti. Yeah, that's, Haiti um, is is. I mean, I, I have no words for that. Honestly, I mean, going through it is literally a fucking understatement right now. Um, so you know, just want to give my condolences and my prayers to everyone there, man, and everybody else that has been affected by it. Um, I mean, I'm not Haitian, but it it. I mean, Haiti can't get a fucking break, dog. They really can't. Like, it's, it's, like, let's, like, like, for real, for real. But why yeah. is that, though? It, it's, I mean, I mean, at this yeah. point, it's, it's, it's conjecture, speculation. Like, nobody can really say why. Like, you know, people say, you know, it's, it's cursed. It, yeah, it's cursed. It's God punishing them. This, that, and the third. But what is he punishing them for? They, they've had so much shit taking, taken from them. Yeah. over the years, like, but isn't that not? punishment enough like and it's not over yet that's like the crazy yeah. part and I, like i you know i grew up with haitians from pre-k to now mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and i would always hear that shit. you know i'm jamaican so you know we would like kind of share the sentiment but like i mean it no it's crazy yeah they, they really can't catch a break it's insane like as I, I i don't know man but yeah like you said condolences and you know anybody has families affected and you know, you got my thoughts and prayers because that, that's wild, man. And also, too, is actually connected to another part, like another country, which is uh, Dominican Republic, uh, no, which think. you don't hear shit about. Which you don't yeah. hear nothing about. Which is, which is very They're interesting. They're literally right there. like Haiti. Same island. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. And, yeah. and, and mm-hmm. what, the earthquake fucked up one half and not the other? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, I mean, right? I'm, yeah, I don't know is. how earthquakes look, but I mean, I don't know how earthquakes work, but... That seems kind of like that's weird as fuck. That's mm. bad sus, right? Yeah, but yeah, it's mm, that's that's yeah, man. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give them that that that, that respect, man. Um, yeah, okay, so um, before we get into our next segment, um, anything you want to say, man, uh, Mister Dramatic Quick Hits uh, with uh, sports. Oh, uh, Tim Tebow can't block <laughs> the shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know I had to say something. I had to say something, but uh, football season starting soon. That's fine. That's football fine. season starting soon. The Heat just niggas in the game. The Heat just signed a few great players, and I, I'll say this right now on this pod: the Miami Heat are going to be the number one defense in the NBA next season, and they are not going to go to the finals. We'll see. No, they're not. We'll see. There will be a fucking. I can't talk to uh, first or second round. They're going to playoffs. They're going to playoffs. Of course, we're going to playoffs. Don't don't be like, of course. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Okay, Marvel. <laughs> he's a Lakers fan, so he's got to, you no, know. No. Sorry, he's a LeBron team, fan. Sorry. Go. Okay, talk to me nice. He's, he's a LeBron all, fan. Right? I, it's so hard to talk to with player it. fans. At least I'm real with it. It's so hard to talk to player fans. Like, if LeBron went to the G League, you'd be rooting for that G League team, buying yeah, the man. gear and everything. Team Gatorade, of course. <laughs> 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 no, of course. Oh man, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to football. Is Tim season. T- is Tim uh, is Tim Tebow playing for the Jaguars? White privilege. I feel like it's part of it. It's either that Are or he has is it white? Is it white privilege or is it UF privilege? Oh, that's even worse. But what's the difference? <laughs> Yo, I have a lot of friends Trey, that are gators. Trey, don't do that. See? I have a lot of friends that are gators, Trey, don't dog. Do that. Trey, don't do that. Please, for God's sake. I don't, say, I don't, don't do follow that. sports, but I follow politics. It's either it's either it's either that privilege um, or he knows some dirt about Urban, Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer is the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh-huh. He coached them Tim at UF. Tebow was coached by him in UF in the early mid 2000s mm-hmm. 
He got Tim, some dirt on Tim, Urban. Tim Tebow is not necessarily the best QB or football player as far as like in his um in his professional level. Collegiate, arguably, he's one of the best ever. Oh yeah, e- easily. Yeah, easily. easy mm. on um, paper. On paper, yeah, on paper. Championships, um, lie. championships, two championships. Um, nah, that first one is Chris Leak's own. Sorry, that first one belongs to Chris Leak. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Now he's a, a tight end. There's de- yo. There's definitely so many other people. And then we're gonna we're gonna talk about this, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Uh, um, he's 34 years old. He's 34. 34, bro. Damn, I knew it was that old. Nice. I mean, that, that makes sense. <laughs> but 34? Yeah, 34. Nah, yeah, you yeah. need to hang it up. Yeah, I don't think shot. he's gonna make it out the preseason. Not with that fucking block he did. Mm-mm. Hell no. Oh, that, no, no, no I would even call it a block. Is he even engaged? A shoulder, a shoulder, shoulder. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like what the fuck was that? But yeah, nah. But he got I a know. shot though, which is cool. But he only got a shot because of who some he knew? type of privilege. Because who he knew. I'm telling you, he knows something about Urban Meyer that we don't. It's the only explanation, though. I don't even think it's even that deep. It's just like you're okay, cool. You play for UF. I got you, my nigga. Yeah, but it's the NFL. It's not, X, you know, X out the nigga. Yeah, but yeah. I got you, my guy, yeah. or whatever white people yeah. say. Yeah. Um, but this is the NFL. You don't do that. This is the highest level of football. Like, you don't there are mad get people, your homeboys there are on mad the people roster. That, like, listen, the but, there are, but there are mad people that are at, that play for the NFL or maybe even NBA that should not even be playing. More so the, more so the NFL than the NBA, though. Why? Because the, the rosters yeah, are so big. Yeah, because when because going to the NBA is like usually if you go to the NBA, like you you you've probably made like you made it. You you deserve to be there. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's a difference because um, NFL is a fifty three man roster. NBA is fifteen. So it's way harder to make it on on an NBA roster. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know, if, you know they have the ten day contract Listen, thing in the G. I hope I hope that he that makes list. it. This and that, but like uh, there's just so many other people that definitely deserve that, especially at that position. Yeah, so not I, his position. I'm a, I'm gonna say it's a privilege thing, but I don't think it's a white privilege thing. It's True. it's really just a True. it's a him thing. Like he's a he's a phenom. It's it's weird, um, like what he developed into, just like in the eye of America. Like he yeah. wasn't necessarily the best football player, but he was still somehow like the best football player. Like he somehow embodied the sport more than anybody else. And in America's eyes, like he he's like their their uh their their dream child so to speak uh-huh. yeah because he's you know he's christian he doesn't do anything bad and you know he's you know like you say he's, he's a great collegiate player but i mean he's also caucasian and i'm yeah. i'm not saying that to take away from any of the, any of the things that he did after during, you over highlighting the course him, of his he's caucasian <laughs> i'm, I'm right. really not ta- i'm not taking away from him but that uh, that is gonna afford you a certain um that I do agree with. You're gonna get certain passes yeah. that that other people might not have gotten. Yeah, yeah, true. And that's okay. Yeah, I mean, some people, some uh, <laughs> depends on who you are. Like some people get passes for certain things. They are of uh, certain things, who they are, what they say. Um, just like uh, you know, Floridians and and New Yorkers. Some people get passes on depending on what they say versus what they don't say. You know what I'm saying? Elaborate. Well, insert segment segue. <laughs> okay, so look, we have one two New Yorkers up in here. Shout out to them, you know what I mean? Um, and we have four Floridians. Is there? No, okay. no, I'm not a Florid- Floridian. I'm a Miamian. It's different. Is there a difference? Is there a difference? Absolutely. So we have four, so we have four. F- Miamians. Yes, there you go. From the 305. I'm from Miami. I'm not from Florida. Okay. You consider yourself a, a Floridian or, or a Miamian? Miami, Florida. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas are stupid. Okay, so I had a conversation with one of my boys. And there are, like, certain things that you can say to... Miamians or Florida people versus New Yorkers. There's certain things that okay, I'll give you an example. What is your threshold when it comes to actually you know you you kind of different though. I'm real different. But go ahead, ask a question. 
Okay, I I would I would put myself in the, I would put myself in, in 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 this in this situation. If Jordan comes to me and we talking right, and I know he's from Miami, and we like you know having a good time whatever this and that, and he's like bitch this and that, then I'd be like okay cool whatever like I I, I would like you know accept that. But if any of my New Yorkers will come to me like my New York friends and call me a bitch. I'm throwing hands. It's different. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. It's different. It don't mean the same thing for us. It don't. It's, it's, it's this, but, but like, I feel like y'all do not have, y'all don't have a barometer. Y'all don't have a threshold. Like, as far as what? As far as like slander. Who's y'all? No, 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 no. You exit states left. I'm not talking about Miami. Oh, you're talking about Miami. I'm talking about Miami. Miami does not have, like, what is, what is out of bounds to y'all? Okay, well, all right. What's out of bounds here? Huh? Exactly. No, okay. you know, no, 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 Jordan, no, 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 Jordan, it's very good you brought that up. We were just talking. My homegirl is telling me there's a reality show now called Fuck Boy or F Boy or some shit. And growing up, if you hear niggas say fuck boy or fuck nigga, a fight followed every single time. So that is always one term. You could call a nigga a bitch ass nigga, and you might get in a little scuffle or a rank session. But if you call a nigga a fuck nigga or a fuck boy, hands will be thrown by someone. <laughs> Maybe not by both of them, but someone's is, throwing hands. Is that the equivalent of some of a New Yorker calling or a New Yorker saying to another New Yorker, "Suck my dick"? That's what y'all takes here. Yes, I, I remember. Uh, excuse remember, me, Floridian. I'm asking New Yorker mm, over oh, here. Oh my bad. My Thank bad. you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think that's equivalent. Mm, I think, yo, yeah. I think that is like the 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 the, it's, ten, it's the close. tenth it's cardinal close. sin. It's pretty close. <laughs> like it I is. I I don't even like tell my enemies to suck my dick. Not, that, I mean that that's some disrespectful shit all like all across the board. But I know New Yorkers take that shit seriously. Like, remember state property? Yes. Yeah. Shot the man right at the table. Yes. Yeah. No, for real. Yeah. No, real. Shot real talk. Yeah. Shit. I got mad. New York cousins and yeah, that's like I think that's y'all threshold to suck my dick. But even <laughs> bit, but even bitch too though. But it like like if I just call you like, like just straight up call you a bitch. Yeah, is that what it is, or yeah. when you sprinkle it into a sentence, or like even if, if no, nah, it don't, nah, it don't, it don't get it, sprinkled. It, it, in it don't sentences. get sprinkled. Like okay. that's just something that just that, no. that's not one of our garnishings. Yeah, no, okay, nah. no, <laughs> okay, yeah, got it, got not, it, got not it. one of our uh, uh, um, condiments, I should say. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like no, it's not because that's fucking fighting words. Yeah. So when I first came here in two thousand nine, and I had like someone like. From like when I was at FIU to like call me a bitch. Nah, bitch, you tripping? I was like, nigga, like, <laughs> like excuse me, you don't even know the me. fuck you say to me, nigga. Like, <laughs> oh no, nah, bro, no, nah, bro, Not even that serious, my nigga. Da, da, da. Like, what is serious to y'all? Y'all niggas is like, like Florida man is real. No, no, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's <laughs> like, a real thing. It's a real thing. I was confused when I came out here because I came out here in high school, so I just like. I, I took a step back and I just had to observe and, and figure out how y'all Florida people do stuff. Oh, but another thing, real quick. Sorry, dramatic. Mm. People that do not even, if you want to talk about like semantics and like just rhetoric and all that, mm -hmm. what's up with the N word here, bro? Oh, it's a term of endearment. That's, no, that's no, 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 no. What's up with the N word that's technically not supposed to be said? Oh, you talk about the hard R. No, I'm talking about A. Nigga. So, yes, nigga. Like, it's a not, term of endearment down I'm, here. Okay, for everybody, for all races. No, I mean not for all races, uh, but just for. Uh, <laughs> I thought your mic was on. Okay, that's fine. Let's plug him in. But. Uh, but per personally, down here, I don't like that. I don't like when Spanish, white, whatever, say nigga. Personally, I don't like that. A lot of people do allow it, but I don't like that shit. I, th I think the white people saying that is like a fairly new thing, but... No, it's not new. Fairly new thing? No, not yeah, new at all. For, for like a term of endearment? That's like that's like a newer phase of um, When I first of, came of here in society. 2009, when I went to FIU, and I actually started to make some friends, 
there was a lot of people that was not black, mm -hmm. not black, that said the N word, that said nigga, like way more than me. Yeah, very loosely. Well, very, his, very loosely as well, too. Yeah. Right? Duh, it, like is, it is a different place. Other, it's a bubble, but every other fucking like, sentence was nigga. Nah, mm -hmm. nigga, we talking about my nigga. Come on, son. Nah, my nigga, you good? Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. And like, like their, their, crazy. their excuse will be, oh, I, I grew up around black people. I love you, and I don't mean it no. maliciously. Blah blah. Like, no, it's not. Okay, it's, it's so not the same. so that, that's so, foolishness. Okay, no, it's, it's hella foolishness. Okay, if it, if it sounds like foolishness, right? So how about this? Is the N word? What is it? Is it racial? Or is it cultural? It's both. It can be right. Like, my father always told me, nobody, you can't really be offended by something someone says unless you let it offend you. Like, if a white person walks in my face and says, something, something, nigger, I'm going to feel the way. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, like, like the. Wait, you, you pausing because of the racial part? Of it? No, no. Pa pause as, as far as not like, like, pause like, okay. yo, I will pause your life. Oh no no, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm I'm gonna feel the way, but it's it's like at the end of the day, it's all about how you let it affect you. Like yeah, no definitely, it's all about how you let it affect you. Um, all right, so we got Anthony here. Um, I think yeah, he I, I think it's a perfect time for me to jump into this one right here. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, look, born and raised in Miami, right? Latino, white Latino. I used the N word until I was about 22 years old. Oh wow! I just grew up with that. That's that's just the truth. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Right? So, but, yeah. but the excuse of I grew up around black people, that's a fucking lie. Oh, yeah. Big we lie. We grew up around black culture. We listened to it in our music. We saw it on TV. And we just thought it was okay for us to say it because there weren't black people around to correct us. And then when we have siblings. They watch us do it. And then they do it. It doesn't come until a point where they get smacked upside the head by a black person that says, what the fuck did you just say? Mm -hmm. And I never had to learn it that way. Yeah, I learned it that way because, you know, I got educated in college and I was just like, oh, wait a minute. There's levels to this shit. And maybe there are hierarchies of privilege and there are systems of oppression and all these kinds of things. You learn this stuff and you stop doing it because you have a sense of conscience. You know, you listen to people. Mm -hmm. But there are still dudes out here doing that and they're still saying it because they think that they own that shit. I got family that still use that word. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you no. I, I got, I got homeboys that are Latino and yeah. Hispanic. And yeah, growing but, up, they said all the time. But check this out; they won't say it around my wife. Oh, your wife's black. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So, they, so that that should tell you yeah. everything that you need that's to respect. know. Tell them yeah. God Boundaries. That tell you everything that they that you need to know. They know yeah. exactly what they're saying. Boundaries. Exactly, and they know exactly when to use it. I, I, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And that's what makes it bad. Like. If all right, if all right, if if what you're saying is true, if the whole I grew up around black people, blah blah, I don't mean anything by it, then you should say it around any and everybody. If there's no malicious intent, mm -hmm. but if you're making sure you don't say it around certain people, we know your agenda, mm -hmm. know exactly what you're doing. And so. also, also when it becomes acceptable, like I've had black friends tell me it's okay, you can use it, and I'm like, no, no, don't give me that pass. But a lot of black <laughs> folks also do that to their Latino friends or white friends because you're cool, and they're like, ah, oh, he can say it. he's my, you know. Yeah, because oh, I know he doesn't mean anything. Yeah, by so it's it. like, just it just becomes real no. messy. Mm -hmm. It just becomes real messy. I mean, is there a time? I remember when we spoke about this the last time. Mm -hmm. Like, did you ever give any passes to anybody? Nope. That wasn't black to say the n word. Nope. So where I grew up, it was like there was like no. Um, at least as I perceived it, there was no like substantive difference between a black person and a Puerto Rican person. And that's, that's all it was up there. If mm -hmm. you weren't white, you were either black or Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. And as long as you weren't white, you were in the same category. Mm -hmm. It was just white and non-white. Mm -hmm. So we didn't receive it coming from another non-white person as like the same way that we would have received it from a white person. So nigga was tossed around flagrantly amongst my Hispanic friends, my Latino friends, the same way it was tossed around among my, among my black friends. Yeah. And I never even considered it until I came out here when, um, like, the, the views here are just different. The culture here is different, and I had to consider different things. But I understand. I understand why people, um, why some people are okay with it and some people are not. But I just feel like it, it's one of those things that, it, it's a third rail. Like, you, you, you're you better off just staying away from it. Oh, I, it's a slippery really slope. Like it's a slippery metaphor. slope at the end of the day. <laughs> It's very, very slippery. Um, and shout out to all those um, 
African Americans who are out here giving passes frivolously. We blame you. Exp- What's the opposite of a shout out? A condemn. A whisper a, a, in. A, con- a condemnation. <laughs> a condemnation. <laughs> a whisper in. Shut up. <laughs> I, I feel like African Americans actually give more of a pass than actually Caribbeans. To to say nigga. Yes. Eh, probably. Well, Carib- like Caribbeans don't really. There's there's not as much like resonance with the word. For Caribbean people. Especially if they're fresh uh, from true. the Caribbean, because I've had a lot of classmates that their first time in America was like ninth, tenth grade. Mm-hmm. They would say nigga on a try to fit in type thing. Mm-hmm. Cause they think, oh, this is how they talk, so I'm gonna talk mm-hmm. like them. And they still have their own, you know, island slang. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Per- yeah. I, I mean, but, I've never seen that from a fellow Caribbean. Like But Caribbeans mm-hmm. do you know. use the word. It's just yes, not absolutely. as frivolous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Plus it's mm-hmm. coming from a place where virtually no white people exist. That's another thing. Yeah, that's another thing. That's interesting. Yeah, so 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 it's different. And um, but back to the main topic. Yeah, go ahead. What Don't call me topic? son. Huh? Don't call me son. Don't call you son. Don't call me Why? son. Wait, that's wait, the wait. New York's. The Why? New York saying is mad possessive. Son, money. It's shit you supposed to own. Shit that is yours. Like, no, don't call me no, that No, no, we don't say, no, man. No, we don't say that because we're trying to have, like. No, I know you don't. But yeah. it just though it don't say, it's just weird. Like, what's up, son? Like, I have a father and you're not mm. him. Like, mm. <laughs> don't call me son. Mm. But I know where it's coming from. No, it's, son, you know. Dunny. Dun, no, I, I say Dunny and Dunny, like, you know, in jest. Like, Dun Dun and shit. That just you know why, you know why I call you son? Because you, you shine, shine like, like one. one. Up top. <laughs> Call my son because I shine like one. You know what I mean? Johnny, you don't know shit about that, B. You don't know a goddamn shit about that. Yeah, I, I felt you over here. You just oh, just just mount this mount function. Um But yeah, no. Is that okay. little baby? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yo, don't do that, dog. Don't do that, sorry. dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we need to give Jordan the mic now. <laughs> nah, Jordan. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, God, yo, I swear happens. to yo, it, it, it was, was, only it, it, it was, it was about I to happen. It. I knew it. I knew it. Jets Nation. Forty minutes in. Okay, that's Jets Nation. I don't know if you guys have peep game, but <laughs> at least twice, maybe three times on average, a fucking episode, my man drops his fucking phone all Andrew. the damn time. It's and an today, Android. It can take the drop. Say what? It's an Android. It can take the drop. We don't need... As opposed we, to... We don't need... No, nah, I'm stopping right we there. We do not need the slander, okay? Don't be <laughs> mad at me because you'd be dropping your shit. You know what I mean? Son. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. What's wrong with that, though? With son? Yeah. I don't know. It's just like... It's possessive. <laughs> like, son? Everything is possessive, though. Like, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. My dude, my guy, like... God. When you, when you preface God. it with my... That's what makes it possessive. But I, I never, just call you dude. But he's like, my dude. That makes it possessive. I never, son is like, I only know son is one thing. Someone's offspring. So look, you know, what you know what's are, are you not someone's offspring? I am. And he, he calls yeah, me we, son. And that's listen, it. There's my a, mother. But here's the thing, though. There's a difference between saying son and my son. We do not say, yo, my son. That's a double possessive. Even though, <laughs> even though, <laughs> even though some New Yorkers be like, yeah, my son got... Yo, I swear to God, some nigga ever does that shit to me, dog. I'm yeah. knocking your shit out, dog. My son, yeah, my son. Oh yeah, my son doing his thing over there. <laughs> Yo, you gotta admit that Man. we we kind of funny with it though. Like, real funny. New York people is real funny. Real with fucking it. funny. Like some of us go a little bit too hard. Yeah, you can say that again. Real fucking funny. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I tell you what, yeah, New York slang is some of the funniest slang ever. Like some of the funniest. You no, know, it, it is. You know, it you is. know, it's one slang that like I kind of like, <laughs> I kind of like, I got used to because I say it now is uh God. What? God. Like God. Nah, God, you good. Like nah, my. Oh, nah, that's nah, that. that um, I never got into that shit. That's that five percent of shit. <laughs> that's that Wu Tang shit. God, yeah. Like how you G-A- God? G A G A W D. Oh, I thought that was just a slang for G O D. Mm, no, nah, I mean oh. the actual term, like it's actually G A W D. Like, oh, okay, yeah. God, yeah, yeah. That's that Wu Tang five percenters, seven nation stuff. They call each other gods, and you know. Okay, let's talk about Florida. Y'all, y'all be calling each other what? Uh, slime? No, that's a slang. That's a huh? that's a gang. <laughs> this nigga might have a heart. That's time. a gang thing. Huh? Slime is, is what? That's a, that's a gang thing. Actually, 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 act
named it because he didn't want to say the word nigga anymore. So he started calling people slime. Then the new millennial motherfuckers, it became a gang thing and it became an Atlanta thing. Now it's just oh. a whole term to say what's up slime. Okay. okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just found this out like a couple months ago. Damn, okay. okay. Oh, shit, I didn't Rikipedia. know that. So, so that's what we're doing Rikipedia. now. Rikipedia. Rikipedia. Yeah, I like it. I love the quick wit. I love Turn it. Turn them up, clock. <laughs> um, Down here, we call each other dog, fool. Um, yeah. Uh, what what one that's very tricky is buddy. Like you call someone buddy that you don't know their name. You know, buddy lived down the street, but because oh, there's a oh, big oh, Jamaican influence. Oh, oh, buddy over there. Exactly. Like I, I fucked around and called a uh, you know a Jamaican buddy one time, and he almost went off on me because you know buddy means dick in Jamaica. Really? Yeah, and, buddy is slang for dick. And he almost went off on you. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> tell them. Tell them to clock. I hate you niggas so much. Oh, my God. Pull up. <laughs> He's casually on WhatsApp right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, almost, but, yeah, yeah. Fool, dog, um, nigga, of course. Um, what else? Yeah. That, that's my what, G? My G, yeah. I, I hear that ever so often. My guy, uh, my guy, my guy, I, my guy. To this day, I'm not sure where that's thing. from. I think that's my, New York. That's a New York thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. My yeah, my guy is not from mm. here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all say or, y'all say um, y'all say foe, foe, as in as in um, nah, nah. Hmm. Okay, that's Chicago. What like call, calling someone foe or yeah yeah yeah. No, nah, I haven't heard that one. What y'all call cops over here? Pardon five, my language. Five, five, five or 12? twelve? The crackers. And it has don't nothing do to do. Don't do that, dog. No, no, I'm telling you. I grew up calling the police the crackers. And it had nothing to do with the cop being white. We call black cops crackers, Spanish cops. It was just a umbrella statement. Yo, I was a bouncer and I got called a cracker. Cause you the feds. <laughs> I'm the feds. I'm if the you feds, enforce in any law, you the feds. You a cracker. <laughs> Exactly. You crack it's not the a whip. color, it's a title. <laughs> it's a title, bro. <laughs> but other than crackers, we say uh five oh. Mm. Um them boys. Them boys who? Them boys, them people. G's? Oh, I haven't heard that one before. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you say oh them boys on the block or you know Oh, uh, you call them jump out. That's the that's the undercover. That, yeah, that's a different thing. You know, when they roll upon you and literally jump out the car on you. Mm -hmm. DT, mm -hmm. you know, we got, yeah, we, but I grew up calling the police crackers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was nothing racial. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'm only going to talk about this because I feel like the flow is, you know, is get going somewhere else though, but I just want to highlight shit, shit real quick. And then we're going to get into something else. Um, Afghanistan is at a fucking awry right now. It's fucking crazy. Um, Unfortunately, even because of, even due to the whole hard work that the U.S. troops have done over the past, God knows how long, maybe 20 years. She's that long. Your president, your yeah. president, your president has pulled out the troops. And as soon as that happened, now the Taliban has fucking took over. Everybody knew that was going to happen, though. Say what? Everybody knew that was going to happen. That's why we waited so long to... Um to depart. But we should have never departed to begin with. We should Yeah, that's a lot of people saying, yeah. We should have never set up shop to begin with. Mm. Ooh, that's let's mm. talk about it. Mm. Let's talk about it. Mm. Uh Mr. Political Man over here, if you want to get into this. <laughs> Mr. Political Man. <laughs> I mean, what what questions y'all got? I mean What he just said, he said that we were we were never supposed to be there to begin with. I yeah. never said we wasn't supposed to be there. I said we wasn't supposed to set up shop. That's basically saying the same shit, nigga. No, nah, but you nah, can, nah, you can nah, go nah, and leave. Nah, nah. We went and stayed. That's the difference. Regardless yeah, of man, what we, it is, we, put we are roots. here. And guess what? We are probably going to be at a stance of war because of this. War with whom? Um, Who else? The ones who are chanting death to America? Yes. The fucking Taliban. I They're, mean, just think about it this way, bro. We still have some Americans uh, that are trying to escape. We, there will be hostages. And when that happens, mm -hmm. we got to do something about it, right? You know? Yeah. 
This is a natural flow of things. Yo, on yeah. some real fucking shit. I know we haven't seen those crazy ass videos where fucking Taliban's fucking and all these other people fucking chatting shit or whatever and just cutting niggas heads off. It's about to go down again. Tr- trust me, it's gonna go down. I would. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past them. Honestly, at this point. I mean, we're constantly in the spin zone. We're constantly in a in a perpetual state of distraction, a perpetual state of 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 deflection, and we don't even know what's what anymore. To be honest, you know. Yeah. I personally think that this was deliberate, and that you know, uh, war has always been our our, our top currency. Oh, absolutely! You know like our, our defense budget is through the fucking roof. Like, you know? like and, and people say, like, oh, why do people spend? Sorry, why do we spend so much money on that? It's because We've been so shitty to people, we're preparing for the retaliation. That's how bad we've been to people. Like, they're going to come later and fuck us up, so we got to protect ourselves. That's yeah. not what it is. That's what I've heard. Nah, that's that's just the military-industrial complex. Like, the people that are are funding the wars, the people that are, are profiteering from wars, like, they're in bed with politicians, and they're all just winning together. So it's easy for politicians to sell us a war like that because we're uneducated. Right. But mm. but for the people that are in the circle, like they they all know, like this is just business, bro. Well, no, you put it that way, then it's hard to disagree. Regardless, if it's <laughs> regardless, if it's business or not, the people who are going to fucking profit the most is obviously going to be the top people. The one that's running the fucking show. But the real people that is fucking suffering right now and that's literally like turning <laughs> in their fucking grave. And for the people who are alive are actually the people who actually serve this country. Now, I'm not the most patriotic motherfucker here. I'm mm-hmm. not. I do have my transgressions and my thoughts and my indifferences when it comes to America. I think everybody does, especially when it comes to people of color. Mm-hmm. However, I do honor, especially the people that I know dear to my heart who have fought, who have sacrificed for this country. And for that shit to happen... Is, has because I've known people like we I've no I one of my best friends fought in the war in Afghanistan, and same here he he is at a state now where he's been holding back tears literally for like almost two days because it's like why the fuck did I even fight for that war to begin with just for all that shit to be just be taken back by the, by my enemy. That's a valid thought, man. And not only that, but the relationships that you build with people over there, because, I mean, we're talking about almost 60,000 Afghan security forces that fought the Taliban that lost their lives fighting as well. Mm -hmm. Talking about over 50,000 innocent civilians that died trying to hide, trying to fight back and defend their own neighborhoods. You know, a lot of U.S. Army troops... Uh, of all the branches of government built relationships with these people as well. Mm -hmm. And now see these people trying to climb on top of planes to escape from their homelands. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? (sighs) That, yeah, that, that was hard to watch. When I first started a video, I thought that shit was not real. Yeah. It didn't look real. It didn't, it didn't look real. It didn't look real. It looked like some out of a bad comedy movie. It was bad. Yeah. It's real. It's heartbreaking, man. man. Nah, man. I mean, just a, a final act of desperation where there's, there's no escaping. Once that plane takes off, Mm -hmm. You you will answer to the Taliban, yeah. and either you join them, or it's your life. And if you're a woman, sucks to suck, but you're probably gonna be a sex slave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just I just saw um, a video. Uh, uh, an, an American reporter was there, and one of the guys told her to stand to the side because she's, she's a, a woman. woman. Yeah, like she she's not from Afghanistan. She's an American reporter, and they still spoke to her like that. So, mm-hmm. <sighs> I yeah, man. Oh, listen. Like, I understand we got a lot of shit wrong with this fucking country, but go over there. <laughs> like, yeah, go over yeah, there and yeah. see what fucking time it is. Yeah. Like, you think women don't have rights here? Yeah. It's, <laughs> All right. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And it's been like that for the longest. For the longest. And guess like, what? Ever since, since they, we started learning since, since, about politics, it's yeah. been like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what yeah. we're constantly seeing, we're seeing it on our border with Central and South America. Um, we're seeing it in Cuba. We're seeing it in Haiti. Now we're seeing in Afghanistan just hundreds of thousands of displaced people of color always being forced out of their homes because of war, because of environmental tragedy, because of tyranny. And then where do they want to go for refuge? The land of opportunity. To if, the United um, States. <laughs> if, if Trump was president, would what, what this, this happen? I don't believe so because I think he put a ban because of COVID. 
So I don't think he would have allowed refugees in here, I believe. I no, think he would have talked about whether they would have Taliban. had Afghanistan. Would the, would, the, would the Taliban be able to, would, would the Taliban take over Afghanistan if Trump was president? Absolutely. That's a good question. Oh. Because Trump was, wasn't he bent on pulling out anyways? See, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but but they were warned. They were warned by by their top military officials that if they pulled out too soon, this would happen. You have to take preventative measures. And Trump would have been like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. But Biden and the Biden administration disregarded those warnings several times. Hmm. Hold on. Didn't Trump do the same thing in, in Iraq or something? And then like we ended up giving up our bases to the Russians? I don't remember. Yeah, that happened. Like we just we just hauled ass one day, and then like the next day, it was a bunch of Russian YouTubers in the military, you know, filming our shit, all the shit that we left behind because we didn't we didn't take the time yeah, to even pack up our own shit. Yeah, but this is yeah that that happened. This oh, is this shit. this is at a whole nother level. Though. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the humanitarian tragedy is real. Like, there's no doubt about that. Like, there's real lives that are getting caught up in the mix. And, um, you know, they're, they're the real victims. But the people who are out here waging the wars, the people that are sending our boys to war, like, they're not the victims. Mm-mm. Like, they're not the ones that are, that are, that are really losing right now. It's just yeah. a, an incredible sign of weakness. And it's really sad because the Taliban are going to take over. There's going to be threats against the United States. And who is going to have to come and clean this mess up? The next generation, we need to send another thousands of soldiers. Yeah, my but brother's eighteen years old. I'll be goddamned if he gets a fucking letter in the mail. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So and when you think about it, get though, to that. Like, what's the alternative though? When you th- we really think the about alternative it? that we're seeing right now is they're trying to establish legitimacy of the Taliban. They're trying to mm-hmm. acknowledge their presence and try and work with them, just like with North Korea, just like with the Cubans from sixty years ago, still in power. We are rewarding terrorism we are rewarding tyranny as opposed to what as opposed to going to war and ending more lives you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't so we would have been having this conversation either way not if trump was president because they would have not taken over if he was president he would have not pulled out everything like that he would have not accepted that shit i don't think so at least and i'm not saying that because i support trump i'm just saying because you also have to govern with strength Whose role is it to govern Afghanistan? Uh, the Afghan government. And here's what happened. They, after uh, the United States pulled out, they had like 300,000 Afghan troops. Uh, uh, they, they, they had military personnel. They had, an, they had an, a legitimate Afghan government. They all stepped down because they were afraid of the Taliban. Uh-huh. They couldn't fend for themselves. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, like we're over there nation building, and we're trying to recreate another America, and when it doesn't work... It's like, oh, we don't know what to do now. So here we are 20 years later. How many trillions of dollars did we spend? 2.5, 2 point, something like that. 2.5. Yeah, yeah. Wilding, like whole nation's budgets, entire mm. budgets. Yeah. You know, 100 times over. Yeah. That's what we spent on a war that we couldn't win. Mm-hmm. We couldn't win that maybe we shouldn't even be involved in. Involved in. I'm not saying that we should have never went over there, but when the mission changed, when it morphed into into nation building, like I think that's where we um mm-hmm. where we went wrong. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, Bin Laden was in Pakistan. When you when you say when you say mm. when you say nation building though, here's the problem. The problem is there are different countries that grew up with different cultures and different sets of values, and their idea of freedom and government is different, right? And then when a country like the United States comes through and they are, they are presented with a different kind of governance, one that is supposed to be led by the people, one that's supposed to be led by democracy, uh-huh. and they desire that, it becomes a culture war too. Because for the Taliban, for these radical extremists, and they come in all, all different types of forms, like we have had monarchies and kings and sultans over a ruling class ruling over the peasants in many different cultures for centuries, there is no other kind of reality for them. The United States is the first social experiment that has lasted this long in this fashion that represents the closest ideal we have to freedom. It has its problems. <clears throat> um, I have a family member from Cuba, and he said that when he was in school back in the 60s and 70s, 
he had no other concept of reality other than communism because that's the only thing they taught in the schools. Yeah, yeah facts. There was wow. a, there was a there was a, a private uh, like secret uh, library that he would go to and he started learning about different like American philosophers and economists and he was like, holy shit! I didn't even think that this was a reality. I didn't even think this was possible. Once it starts turning the key in people's consciousness that there's other way to think and to embody freedom, mm-hmm. people start rising up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And because they see that that's not the only way. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Arabic people in Afghanistan got Wi-Fi in some places and they learned that there's other ways to live and that this isn't the right one, you know? Wow. So yeah. it's unfortunate because we are the biggest uh, uh, interventionalists in the world. And a lot of times we cause problems, but we're also the the, the greatest opportunity uh, uh, nation helpers and assistance in the world as well. We provide aid and protection for so many people. We provide asylum for so many uh, political, mm-hmm. like, I mean. We provide everything for everybody. We take care of everybody. South. That's the problem. And that's the problem we have right now. Well, yeah. there's a difference between U.S. values and U.S. interests. U.S. interests is based on uh, acquisition of capital, usually led by corporates, by by a, a select hand few of of uh, of companies that have vested interests. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, like, it's it's all strategic stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's not values. Values is the principles of personal sovereignty, the right to life, liberty, and hap- the pursuit of happiness, the 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 yeah. opportunity to own your own, to start your own business, freedom of speech, freedom, freedom of religion, speech, freedom, freedom of the press, of assembly. all those things that don't exist in countries like Afghanistan, mm-hmm. that don't exist in countries like Cuba, mm-hmm. that don't exist in countries like Venezuela or North Korea. You know what I mean? So. We are pioneers of freedom, and it's a responsibility we have as the most powerful country in the world. So now when the Taliban take over, and they're literally now in bed with China. That's new. That's Yeah, it's new. Actually, this is a thing I just found out today. Hmm, is that a coincidence? China is capitalizing <laughs> it's not on... not surprising. Check this out. <laughs> Chinese interest, bro. Yeah. China is capitalizing on Biden's weakness. They're securing <laughs> rare earth mineral access in Afghanistan to monopolize the telecoms and satellite market. That way they can Ooh. win a war mm-hmm. with the West without firing a shot. It's just more imperialism, more colonialism. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Nationalism at its finest as well, too. A little bit. But listen, um, this is not a fucking political podcast, but at the same that time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um you know, it's 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 just always it's just smart and it's very, very um it's the right thing to do to you know, highlight and to acknowledge what's actually going around, going on in this world. And even though we do have problems here in, in, uh, in America, you know, it kind of makes us a little bit more grateful than, you know, like be, be a little bit more great, grateful because I don't think I ever in my life have to worry about trying to hop on a fucking plane by the fucking wheels mm-hmm. as it's taking off. Yeah, that was... I don't think I never need to deal with that. I don't think anybody in this room needs to fucking deal with that ever in their lives. Nope, you're right. So You're right. It's just it's crazy. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's do Ask a Gent, but a little bit different of Ask a Gent, though. We are going to... Um, well, actually, it's, it's kind of like the same thing. But, um, <laughs> all right, so... We are here. So you remember a long time ago when I posted this chat um, from this IG when it said, give me one second. This one chat, they're not um, giving us any sponsors, so I'm not going to shout them out. Um, <laughs> these, were, these were very good, honest answers. Men are sharing the things they wish women knew about them. So I kind of want to talk about because it's, it's it's pretty extensive. It's about forty different like things. So I want to want to actually talk about like the first like ten. Okay. Uh, and I want to like you know see if you guys agree, see if you guys don't agree. Maybe you can guys give you guys give give uh, the audience a little bit of a story of like how you can maybe like you know talk about that. Maybe kind of you know make you reminisce about things. Let's All do right. it. Okay. Love stories. Let's All do right. it. <laughs> Number one. Just because. I'm not, this is very triggering for me. Just because I'm not talking doesn't mean I'm not enjoying my time with you. Yes. Swipe right. <laughs> oh, you said swipe right? <laughs> swipe right. That, uh, uh, um, th- people always joke about this, but it's very true. 
women, not only can they not understand sometimes, let me see how I can put it. Shit, some shit we enjoy, they cannot wrap their head around. They can understand, why does he just like sit? It's, it's, it just is what it is. Like, I don't always need to be loud and boisterous and flipping off the walls. Sometimes you know what I I'm don't saying? even need to fucking talk. Honestly. Yo, listen. Sometimes me, you don't even need to talk. We don't need to talk. Nobody oh, needs that, to yeah, talk. Shit Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> like, Tell yeah. them not talk. Like, there's nothing wrong with a quiet car ride. Guess what? I'm in the car with you. Is that Guess not what? enough? <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? Sometimes... Shut the fuck up. Shut okay, I'm not gonna say that much, but it's no, I'm right. saying that. No, for real, fuck it. Right? Right? Um, 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 should I, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Like, 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 re- like, respectfully. Yo, I was right here maybe like almost two years ago with someone I was seeing. We're no longer seeing, I'm no longer seeing her anymore. Every fucking two seconds is like, <laughs> oh, so what are we going to do? Okay, so we're going to eat. Um, Hey, what are you watching? Oh, are you texting right now? Hey, are we going to watch something on TV? Yo, shut the fu- Shut up. Sometimes, maybe not sometimes, but actually all the times, silence is golden. Golden. The greatest time that I can actually, uh, the greatest times that I actually spend, I spend with a woman at times is literally when we're not saying anything. I'm shutting the fuck up, and you are shutting the fuck up. And we are just enjoying each other's presence. Mm -hmm. (sighs) That's facts. So on a related note, the closest friends that I've ever had, all of them, we shared this one thing in common. Like, we could just sit in a room and just shut the fuck up. And it was dope. (laughs) Yeah. But sometimes conversing... And just having conversations all the time does not necessarily mean a good thing or a great thing to a specific relationship. That's like, Yeah, that's also true. Like, like, some of my really, really good friends and people who really mean the most to me, I don't necessarily fucking speak to the most. I.E. When do we speak? No, 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 no. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Mondays. Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, I'm like, tell them God talk. Really cool chance, baby. Like for real. So, but on, on, on. So it's like, okay, like if that's the case with my man's, with my woman, that you know, I, you know, don't really have, but it is what it is. Like, no, but like sometimes, like, like. Can, can, I, well, actually, you know what? For the only married men in this in this room, what is your sentiment? Wait, Trey's not married. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So for the okay. Wow. No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. For the only married man that is the guest of this podcast, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know the fuck I mean, nigga. So, um, oftentimes, over talking can be a, a sign of insecurity. Having to just take up so much space and fill it up because. They're not comfortable with silence, which means they're not comfortable with themselves. Mm. Um, It also depends on each person. Every situation is different. My wife is a Gemini. She likes to talk a lot. There's a lot of people inside of her thinking and talking all the time, and they come out in conversations. But there's a sense of balance that comes about. I'm a very quiet, introverted person. And we really enjoy those silent car rides. We don't take things, per- we don't take it. Per- now, sometimes you got to like communicate that. Like when you have a friend, whether it's a guy or a woman, and you just be like, yo, sometimes, you know, I just like to chill and just want to let you know that that's, that's not a bad thing. And then they know the vibes, they understand, and they just kind of act accordingly. So sometimes you even got to communicate that. Mm-hmm. You know what it is for me? Like I'm a quiet person. I'm an introverted person and I observe a lot mm-hmm. and I can pick up a lot about um, my partner or just the people that I'm in the room with. And when you're in a relationship or when you're trying to build a relationship and you're always talking, it means you're not listening. Just mm. yep. talk about it. No, pun and, and, you, and you, <laughs> you're going to end up missing some key details. And then in the moments that I do want to speak, I'm not going to find the room to get any words in. Yep. Mm-hmm. And and that's something that can end up um you you end up shooting yourself in the foot if you're if you're the talker like that. Yep. 
you know, luckily I found balance in my situation, but like a lot of people never do. And they end up wondering why they, why they relationship just never, never really grew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are more than just what you say about yourself. Yeah, no, definitely. I like you that. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we actually really want to be complimented too. a six year old woman complimented me five years ago and it still makes me feel good which just shows how little we get compliments. Uh, okay, so... Not all the ones now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, no, I do agree with that because usually it's us um, throwing the compliments like, hey, Miss Lady looking, blah, blah, this and the third. So when it does happen to us, it's it, it does feel great. However, not to be mean, but sometimes you don't deserve to get a compliment. Okay. No, that's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I, I, I want to be an asshole. No, it's fine. Please be an asshole. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you just, you know, not go get a, you know, you don't look complimentable that day. Yeah. And if you don't get a compliment during that day, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. No, it's you. fine. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. No, but definitely we do want to be complimented. Yeah. Like that, that's, that's another stigma with men. Like, um, th like that's so weird that that's a woman trait to receive compliments like that and be, like I've funny enough, I've been catcalled by a woman before. Like it's it's not something that happens often, but when it does happen, you feel kind of good. Like oh, I look good enough for a woman to yeah. speak up. You know what I'm saying? That, that's I a think, big confidence. But I think building. the reason why it feels good for us because it barely happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. That's yeah, definitely yeah, a big yeah. part of it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not culturally appropriate. Yeah. No. You know? Yeah, that's another no. thing. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Because yeah, there's no. Uh, women construction workers whistling at niggas who work in the office walking by. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't work like that. Right. But if that was to happen, you don't think that office nigga gonna be like, uh, oh, you gotta have a little a chippier Monday, you know, a little better Monday, you know? I mean, it's, it's fun to look at these things in a very binary way, but the truth is it's always more complicated than that. And, you know, like, for example, uh, my woman is not interested in words of affirmation. Mm. If I don't compliment her, she's cool with it. Uh, mm. I like words of affirmation. Yeah, it might be my love language, but that, I also notice. I also notice that I, when I when I compliment her, there's a little bit of selfishness. It's not. It's not that it's selfish. It's just that since that's your love language, when you call someone, when when you use that expression of love, it's because you. That's what you also desire for yourself, mm. right? Mm, so if I'm saying you look beautiful today, I appreciate saying you know saying something back. It doesn't have to be in that exact moment. But that's what I'm communicating. This is what I like. And this is what I'm offering. Yeah. Right? Do you... Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm going to call you. Do you yeah. need it to be at the same level? No. Okay. No. Like, you don't need to be called beautiful, too. If you call no, her no. beautiful, you'd be like, oh, you look I, good today, too. I, you'd be fine with that. I do not want to be called beautiful. Well, no, I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying. Tell them not I know, yeah. I'm just... <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, um, I noticed that in my earlier years, I wanted to be complimented more because I was less secure about myself. Once mm. I became more confident in myself, those words of affirmation, I started to receive them more and I needed them less. So it's kind of strange how that happens. Yeah, because, yeah, like, like you say, you don't need it. You're not like, I'm good. I don't you can say it if you want to, but I'm good regardless. You know, what's interesting. Like I grew up without hearing a compliment for so long that when I started re to receive compliments, like, yeah, it felt good. But at the same time, it was part of me was like, really? Like me? <laughs> I, I look, I look good. That's weird. She thinks I'm cute. Yeah. No, no. And, I, yeah. And, I, I, yeah. And, and, and that's kind of like how I receive it. I would appreciate it at the same time, but, mm -hmm. um, but it just never fit within my paradigm. Please ask us out. It makes us feel wanted and loved and pay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just built differently, I guess. I, I don't know. Do, do I got? So honestly, be real. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I know you about to get your shit off, Trey. Be, go ahead. Be, be real. Do, do I, do I got to put it out too? Like, I, I just, I just want to understand how far um, we're taking this. No, it's my body, my choice. Yeah, exactly. Fuck out of here. What? But we, if a, if a girl, nobody's policing us. If a girl calls you and say, Marvel, <laughs> I want to take you out, and I'm gonna pay everything. Leave your wallet at home. Figuratively saying, because uh -huh. you can't go nowhere else. You wallet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But would you decline? I've had. Wow. Okay. I've had. Yeah. He. You. You ain't even need to ask that question. He absolutely would. Okay. 
Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe now because of certain situations and certain circumstances that are changed. See, okay, so now it's different, but um, it's a hypothetical. Back then, back, back then no. Mm-mm. But now, Marvel now. I would, I would, I, I would be remiss, but like, um, I would definitely still take my wallet with me just in case. Like, it's crazy for me, man, because even though if a woman's like, yo, I'm going to pay for this, I'm going to pay for that, I'm still going to act like I still need to actually pay for it. Got you. Mm. Like, my my notion, I guess, like, my manlyhood is still being prepared to take care of the bill, even if the woman said that, yo, I'm going to pay. I mean, that's a that's a natural thought and an action of, you know, alpha male. So is that like a control like thing? I wouldn't call that's, it that's a that's a safety thing. Yeah. You always got to be prepared for the worst. Yeah, exactly. And on a similar note, do we like surprises? I do. I, I love surprises. I, I love, love surprises. surprises. Yeah. I love giving surprises. Yes. So much so I've never had a surprise birthday party. I mean, I've gotten surprise gifts and yeah, shit. Yeah, I never had a surprise. But I never had a surprise party. birthday party. Yeah. I had a, <laughs> I had a surprise party once and I got Yeah, man, you know what? I, 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 I got I got choked up. Oh. At the yeah. party. But I hate surprises. I hated them before, and I hate them now. Okay, so 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 I'm triggered. <laughs> my 18th birthday has passed. My 21st birthday has passed. My 25th birthday has passed. My 30th birthday has passed. A lot passed. of benchmarks. Okay, 35 and 40. If one of y'all motherfuckers do not give me a fucking surprise birthday party <laughs> within the next four months, he's gonna be big mad. Or the next five years. I'm fucking everybody up. <laughs> when is your birthday? December 1st. Damn. This is your 35th? It's too 35th. Close to Christmas. It's 35th. <laughs> I'm, fuck fucking I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. 35th. So figure it out. All right, cool. But how do you surprise this guy? You know everything. You know every fucking body. We, like, it, it's hard to... Come nah. on, Barbara. We're going to go to this place I'm sure you've been to before. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the type of... Yeah, I mean, you know I what? Mean, it, it could be done, but it's not going to be easy is what I'm saying. Figure it out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Like, my birthday is in like three weeks, uh-huh. so it's kind of too late for that. I got you. I'm turning 33. It's not really, it's my Jesus year. It's not really a benchmark year. I got you. I got but same here. 35, I'd like a surprise birthday party, you I know. You. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, man. I've, I've always wanted one. So either four months from now or five years, hey, figure it out. Um, okay, last one. Let's do let's do let's do one more. This is actually, this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Let's see, I think it's just, just just cackling over there. I think it's so mad. No, just be happy. Can you just be happy for us, bro? Yeah, be happy, and you'll get a surprise party. Whatever. Surprise. <laughs> Whatever, dog. Whatever. Um. Oh, oh, this is a good one. I love it already. All right, we don't really care about makeup. And just want you to be healthy and happy. Any guy wouldn't be attracted to you. Who any guy who wouldn't be attracted to you without your makeup on is a shitty person. Hmm. They, person. they, 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 yo, they be going number one. This makeup, all this shit that they're doing to their bodies and all that, they don't do it for us. They do it for them. Yes, and hold they, on. And they, they've they, told they us for the, that they do it for themselves, or they, they do, do it for each other. They do it for each other. They don't do it for themselves. Mm. They do it for each other. And, and women have explicitly they said that. They do not do that shit for us. No, what we? Not for us. A, no, I'm, no, I agree. No, they, they don't do it for us. You're right. You're right. I mean, they don't. This is for me, baby. Uh, <laughs> like. <it's laughs> Yeah, absolutely. But but if they're in a relationship, it might be different because my woman does it for herself, but then she wants me to notice and say something. No, no, that's different. They'll want you to notice, but I guarantee you, your wife doesn't think if she doesn't do it, you're not going to like her anymore. She no, doesn't think no, that, right? Not, no, no, yeah, no. Th- th- that's the thing. Like, growing up, we always think, oh, they're putting on makeup so they look prettier for us. No. As men, we do not care. We literally do not care. Yeah. As long as you're like loyal to us and you love us, like we don't care how you look. If I love you, I've made that decision already that I've accepted how you look already. Hold you up, you hold get up, what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up. Huh? What's too far? No, no, I, I that's why I use the word love. What's too far? That's why I use the word love. 
No, okay. <laughs> Wait, say what? No, no, we all right, we do. Maybe we, I'll just speak into absolute. Yeah, this meant some things just don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just make Tell them. Sense. Tell them God clock. All right, maybe I misspoke. That's unhealthy. If I can't go into a relationship and make less money, you can come here. Oh, 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 oh. Drop the mic. If it's you spicy. If, 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 we don't if, ever if. give him the mic because he always right. dropping the mic. <laughs> can, can you, quote, drop can you quote If him? I can't come in a relationship with less money, then you cannot come in a relationship weighing more than me. Right? First of all. Yeah, but what if she's like five? What is she like 5'10 and like looking good, voluptuous? She <laughs> gonna, oh, she, she gonna, like a stallion. She gonna weigh more than you, bro. But that, so so upgrades only is what you're saying. Yeah, upgrades only. Listen, uh, when when I first started dating my wife five years ago, she weighed 135. She she gained weight over the the years, and as she gained weight, she looked better and better and better. So it's all about where the weight goes. True. That is also very. And how that is, yeah, how true. how it's yeah. distributed at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. But your your wife is the type of woman that would never ever let herself go. Like she, her nah, her genetics that's unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> to her. To her. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. Mm-hmm. They're over. They're over the limit. You overdrafted. Okay. They're over, they're over limit. Yeah. You need a penalty. All right. Um. Yo, no. Fuck it. One more. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this is... This. I misspoke. I, I, I care how you oh, look. Lord however, oh, however, Lord. if do I, I do love I wanna you... Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm just ahead. saying if I love you, it just... I, I just... Because okay, cause beauty fades. All right. Does it not? All right. I'm just saying. Like, it's not indicative of my love for you. This, this I, stands, I think beauty evolves. Yeah. It can. Speaking about <laughs> the evolution... It's of, different. Bro. Speaking about evolution... Oh, man... This is going to be crazy. And fine. Okay. Sometimes we want to be the little spoon. The what? <sighs> the little spoon. Um, what does that mean? You know when you cuddle like with cut, a girl like cut, like and she's here? Mm-hmm. Reverse. She's holding you. Come on, Anthony. Go wait. Let him answer. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I, I've, I've woken up. I've woken up to. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. No. I, I've I've woken up to to my woman reaching over and grabbing me, but it doesn't feel like I'm being spooned. It just feels like uh, like I'm being held, you know, like. So nah. you the little spoon? Nah, she's 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 not she's not pressing little her her pelvis up on my booty. It's not like that, bro. And on but top of that, she's she's hugging me, and I I, I woke up and I was like, oh, she's hugging me. You know, that, and that's, on top that's of that, uh, uh, tra- I'm almost tra- 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 after death. Uh, I like being held. Um, I wouldn't spoon. characterize myself as a little spoon. Like that uh-huh. would be that would be weird. Okay, but but no, okay. I, I like being still helped. man shit. Still man shit. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait. What? That's how niggas are talking. Like, don't you ain't spooning me, bro. You, know you can you hold me know. though. <laughs> you, you you can hold me from behind. Though. The thing with me is awkward because I'm six one and my girl is five three. It doesn't feel good. It, it's not a pride or anything. I've tried to do it, and I'm like, no, this is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. You're too, too. short. You, no, it just don't feel have good. You, have you ever done it with a taller woman? No. Mm-mm. <laughs> I've never done it with a taller woman. You have never had sex with a tall, like a woman taller than oh, you? Oh, sex? No, no. I thought you meant the cuddling part. Okay, cuddling. Okay, whatever. No, I've never been spooned by a taller woman, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing for Marvel. I've... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's getting at with that one. <laughs> Wait, where did that come from? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Where'd that come from? What the what fuck you just say? What's 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 happening? What right did now? you just say, nigga? What's happening right now? I don't. I'm asking you. It's what did you say? I think there was something with a tall woman and you being spooned. Is that what you trying to say? No, 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 no. You no, 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 no. You 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 basically equated the sex with the cuddle. This nigga <laughs> oh, always wants to speak up. Why are you always speaking <laughs> for me, dog? Why no, you always do that? I, I got your back. Bro. No, you don't. No, you in this conversation, you better not have my back. Like, like my nigga. Whoa, all right? Just oh, keep your shit. shit all the way over there, my nigga. Too um, many pauses today. That, yeah, I'm for real. That shit, shit got out of hand. But I love it. I'm, I'm with it. That's going to be the shits. title of this episode. Yeah, exactly. Out of hand? No, the title's going to be ellipses. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, what board? Um, have I ever been the the Little Spoon? Okay, not I don't make think fun of your height, but is that possible? Right, exactly. Is that possible? Is that comfortable for you? Mm, like I, what? Like honestly, it, I've I've always you feel like a backpack. I've I've <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Yo, a dramatic. Backpack. Yo, y'all niggas is on one today. <laughs> a, backpack. <laughs> a backpack. Marvel, have you ever been backpacks? Huh? Have you ever been <laughs> backpacks? <laughs> hey, yo, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo, have some respect, dog. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. Uh, there's, no, there's nothing to be answered. What are you talking about? Oh my god. By the, by the way, gents, thank you, thank you for inviting me on. No problem. Oh, grand, grand, grand opening, it's grand honor, closing. Bro. All right, yeah. <laughs> it's an honor, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, have you ever been backpacked? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Woo. oh, Yo, that's funny oh as my. fuck. Oh my. Um, <laughs> I've always been the dominant one when it comes to like cuddling because of my size and because of my height. Damn, there's dominance in cuddling now? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cuddling is such an intimate act. Yeah, okay, but it but, but it's weird to hear the word but, dominance but Okay, wait, 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 wait. Like, but there still is dominance within it. Yeah, because it communicates like, protection. Yeah, okay, like okay. I'm always or the protection. Or mm, what is it to possess when it's just her and I in, in the room? Uh, you're possessing her. Yeah, it's like that's my woman. You're covering someone's back. Yeah, that's what it communicates. Yeah, really? Yeah. I don't think about it. <laughs> I mean, I, I I look at it as more of like a like protection versus like dom like versus a uh, possession. It could be both. Yeah, it's both. Yeah. It's okay. Both. But can a non dominant person protect you? How much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can a non dominant person say that again? All right, because um, you're saying, we're saying, like, how is it dominance is like, because, you know, like you say, you hold it from the back, but mm -hmm. you say it's pr it's protection. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's kind of one in the same. But it's protection. A dominant, pr like, go protection ahead, ahead. usually comes from a dominant person. Okay. Because that's what makes them a protector. Yes. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And there's also a difference between dominance and possessiveness. Yes. A possessive person. Can't yeah, anybody can be possessive. I, yeah, don't, I, yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't give off the sense of being possessive when I'm cuddling with a girl, when I'm cuddling. When I'm cuddling. Okay. I, I don't. It's more of I got you. showing that I got you, mm -hmm. showing that I'm protecting you, showing that, you know, I'm here, that I'm not going anywhere, always here. Alpha love. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch that? I guess not. You catch that. You I caught that, that, right? You caught that? Did you catch No, you didn't catch that. We'll, we'll talk later. Um, <laughs> don't fucking stare at me, nigga. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know. I mean, Colin can definitely get fucking tiring as well, too, my nigga. Like, sometimes, dog, like, get the fuck away from me. Like, I want to fucking sleep. Yeah, my arm is yeah, asleep Yeah, my arm is asleep. Like, my arm is asleep. Like, I'm not asleep. <laughs> like, my brain's not asleep. My arm is asleep. And honestly, cuddling personally feels better when you're on the couch, you're watching a movie. Because mm -hmm, usually yeah. when I'm in a bed, I'm in sleep mode. I don't really want to. It's temporary. That's not, that's not considered, you, you, you that's not considered like cuddling. That? That's not considered cuddling. You no, I've fallen asleep cuddling, but it wasn't always comfortable. If you're not on the bed, that's not considered cuddling. Really? Huh? I don't think so. You no, cuddle oh, on the couch? No, 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 no. Nah, that's kind of, no, that's kind of. You can cuddle you outside thinking. the bedroom? Yeah. What? Yeah. On the couch. You can cuddle yeah, in the couch. car. What you talking about? Jacuzzi. Okay, put it like this. You can cuddle. You can cuddle on anything you can sleep on. How about that? You, you can, can fall asleep on the couch. You can cuddle on the okay, couch. Okay, you can okay. cuddle wait, on anything you can stand on. Wait, 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 wait. Exactly. Everybody. <laughs> everybody calm. Everybody calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> on the couch, there is. Yes, if you lie down on the couch in like sleep mode, but if you're just like this and your woman's right here, that's not cuddling. Even if that's, she's laying on you, if you're sitting and she's laying, if, if that's not cuddling, what is it? Is it? That's like half cuddling. What? Half cuddling? <laughs> it's, Full it's, cuddle? It's, it's, it's huddling. It's huddling. No, huddling requires more than like three people. 
to huddle. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. See, now y'all making up words. Like, you, you just added definitions to words. That no, no, this, this is a good conversation. Like, no, because I'm like, if she's on here, right, mm-hmm. and she's cuddling with me, okay, cool. Maybe she's cuddling, and then someone got to take a message. Like, no, it's just it's midnight. midnight. Oh, it's midnight? It's midnight? Yeah. It's Damn. Tuesday. Oh, fuck me. All right, all right, we'll, we'll wrap up. Um, I feel like if both of you guys were actually laying down, if it's a couch, if it's a couch, if it's a, a bed, then Food okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. If I'm wallin', please let me know if I'm wallin'. Okay, so it's possible to have, like, a one-way cuddle. Mm-hmm. Like she, there, there you like go. She, yes, she yes. can cuddle up against you without yes. you necessarily being yes. That's what I'm yes. saying. Yes, That's yes. what I'm saying. Yes. But yeah. as, a, as a collective, it's still a cuddle puddle. A what? A puddle? You can say she's cuddling we, you, but I, I, you're we, not we're, we're getting the fuck out of here. But, okay, <laughs> like, but, yeah, but that's confusing puddle. because... Cuddling indicates two people. So how can one person cuddle? Am I tripping? So so maybe so maybe it's it's maybe it's not technically a cuddle. Maybe it's a snuggle. No, I mean oh, wait, well, no. Well, because because no, I because I because I had a kitten snuggle. Yeah, and, and my kitten snuggle used to sleep on my lap. Yeah. When 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 my wife wants me to 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 hold her, she'll say cuddle me. She's not doing nothing. I'm grabbing her. So okay. Well, yeah, yeah it's. Dude. But snuggle does make sense because pets snuggle up on you, kids snuggle up on you. Look, I think this conversation is making us all real soft. We need to, we need to move on to it. <laughs> yeah, put on some uh, backpack, backpack, some backpack. DMX or some shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Play, 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 play some misogyny shit. Nah, dude. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, play some JT money. <laughs> but uh, nah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, I guess we'll table it for now. I'm definitely time. gonna ask my girl. After no, ask your girlfriend to see. No, I definitely nah, nah, trust nah, nah. Y'all, y'all gotta tell us what y'all think in the comment section. Yeah, that's true. Really. That's no, one no, of these yeah. things. Does yeah, cuddling yeah, require two people? Yeah, that's yeah, a good definitely. question. Yeah. Um. All right. So, <laughs> happy tenth as always. Appreciate you guys, Ooh, my niggas. I love y'all. Happy um. Shout out to Anthony for being on the uh the the podcast. Appreciate appreciate you, sir. Big appreciate shout you guys. Thank you for your input. Thank you. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready to go to bed. Um, to say that again. Yeah, um, I gotta drive to Egypt. Oh, we. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry, bro. Yo, next time we'll make sure we'll start accordingly. Uh, we're actually. Oh, so next week was gonna be really dope. We're finally gonna have the conversation with Miss Tatiana Brown. Um, Is she gonna be here? Or she will be in? here. Cool. So next Looking week, to it, Tatiana. Huh? She's coming. She's coming. Okay. So with that being said, we are starting earlier, and early means earlier. As in, as in, mm, can we do eight? Oh, yeah. I thought you no, were no, going to no, say that, like that six. Was, that was, no, that shit. wasn't the question for you. That was the question for him. I do like eight fifteen. Okay, that's fine. Eight twenty. If we can start at eight thirty, that's fine. Eight thirty is fine. No, eight fifteen, so you can get here for eight thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna right, say cool. eight fifteen. All right, cool. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right, cool. I'll be running on Jamaican. All right, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like the only thing worse than Miami time. Yeah, for real. I heard Cuban time is pretty rough too, though. Yeah. Cuban time? That's that's what I heard. Uh, Cuban time is like almost like Jamaican time. Mm-hmm. That's saying a lot because Jamaican time. Ew. All right, everybody's cool. Niggas will be late to their own funeral. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get on out of here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for listening to the Really Cool Jazz podcast. Happy episode number ten. We going, we going, keep on going for real. Appreciate y'all. As always, stay cool. Tell them, tell, tell, tell them, tell them God clock. Really cool chance, baby.